Hey, what is going on guys? It's Delvage and today I'm gonna to be bringing you a video on how to create an overlay in Photoshop. Now you can use the overlay that we're making today on YouTube, on Twitch, whatever service that you want to use this overlay on, it will work. So it's gonna be very simple. It's not going to go into super in depth, but I wanna make this short and to the point. So if we look in Photoshop right now, you can see an overlay that I made just a few minutes ago and it's pretty simple, but it looks really nice. And we're going to be making something like this today so the very first thing you need to do is go to file and new here at the very top of your screen or just find it on the left side of Photoshop if you haven't opened a document yet but I have a template saved for overlay which is 1920 by 1080 the resolution at 300 always in pixels and the background white just click create and you'll be given a blank white page we have create a new layer above the background and I'm actually going to delete the background because we don't need that and uh, after that I like to create a weird color for the background and you might ask me well why do you want to do this well I want to make sure that while I'm working in Photoshop I can see the overlay that I'm working on I'm going to be using a darker color for for the overlay that we're making so I don't want to have the background a dark color or a color that I'm going to choose while I'm making the overlay so I'm just going to choose this really offsetting green that you don't find in a lot of design so after we do that I'm going to create another layer and I'm going to go to the rectangle tool at the bottom of the screen right here and I'm going to go and drag out a decently sized rectangle like this that's pretty good I'm going to right click and go to rasterize layer double click go to color overlay and I'm going to choose white just for right now. We're gonna change this later, but we will do white for right now. I'm gonna go right click and go to rasterize layer style. And after that, I'm going to go to the polygon lasso tool here at the top left and go click underneath the box that we just made, holding shift, go to the very top with your mouse, click and just surround the edge of the box and connect it like so and then press delete on your keyboard while the box layer is selected control and D to deselect and here we have our basic layout for our overlay now that we have our shape I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and click the thumbnail or the little logo for the rectangle on my layer styles panel create another layer drag that underneath the rectangle one layer go to select modify expand and leave it at about five pixels click OK press control and backspace on your keyboard and there we go it creates an outline for us on our overlay now it is blue but I'm going to change that by double clicking and going to color overlay and I'm going to make that black there we go click OK right click rasterize layer style and there we go now I'm going to add a gradient overlay to our original layer so I'm going to do that by pressing gradient overlay in the layer styles panel and I'm going to choose this dark blackish gradient that I think looks pretty cool. If you guys want to know what the exact color codes are, here they are. I will put them on screen. Um, so here is the end version right here. And here is the top version right here. I'm just click OK. And I'm going to add a few effects to make this look a bit better. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so we have the general layout for our overlay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go and hold shift and merge these two layers together by right clicking and going to merge layers. The next thing I'm going to do is hold control and click on the layer like before. So it selects the entire thing, create another layer, go to my brush tool, making sure the hardness is at 0%. I'm gonna choose the color white. And at the very top, I'm just going to very gently go and just kind of make a light at the very top of our overlay like so. I'm gonna create another layer above the light, change the color to black, and at the very bottom, I'm going to create some shadows like this, just dragging across, making sure the brush hardness is at 0%. Now on the shadow layer, I'm going to turn the opacity down to 90%. And on the light layer, I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay, and I'm going to change the opacity to 90% as well. There we go, and it just creates some depth in our overlay. Actually, I'm going to change the opacity down from the shadow layer a little bit more to about 80%. I think that looks a little bit better. And again, I'm going to merge all these layers together. Now after this, this is where it really comes up to you guys. Now personally, I'm going to use my logo for the next thing that we're going to do. But basically what we need to do now is create a texture or pattern in the background. It's pretty plain right now. It's just a gradient with a few shading and lighting effects, but I'll be right back. I'm going to import my logo and we're 
going to create a background and you can do this exact same method choosing a wallpaper from Google or a game that you like or anything like that but I'll be right back with my logo because that is what I'm going to use okay guys so I have chosen my logo and I'm actually going to duplicate it by pressing Control and J just so that it has an even pattern across. I'm gonna make it like that and I'm going to merge those two layers. I'm gonna press Control and T on my keyboard to transform it, holding Shift and Alt, dragging from the corners, making sure that it covers the entire overlay box. After that, I'm gonna hold Control on my keyboard and select the overlay layer like we did before. I'm going to go to my rectangular marquee tool in the top left, right click, select inverse, and then press delete on my logo layers. And as we can see, it creates a pattern in the background. I'm gonna press Control and U on my keyboard to open up the hue slash saturation panel and turn the saturation all the way down, press OK. Then I'm going to double click and change the blend mode to soft light with the opacity at around, I don't know, you can kind of eyeball this, 30% looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to go to filter, blur, motion blur, and add a little bit of motion blur, maybe like 15 pixels of motion blur. That looks good. And I'm going to do the exact same thing by selecting the inverse just to delete any blur that was on the outside. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add some blue effects to it. So I'm going to press control on my keyboard once again to select the entire overlay. Create another layer above the layers that we just made. Go to our brush tool and choose a blue color. This is a pretty good blue color. If you want to use the same color code, it's right there on screen. But press OK. And I'm just going to go over and paint over the entire overlay. Press Control and D to deselect. I'm going to double click and change the blend mode to overlay and change the opacity to around 40%. And as we can see, it adds a cool blue effect that I think looks a lot better than just leaving it plain black. After that, we're going to merge all these layers together. So just holding shift, right clicking and going to merge layers. I'm going to create another layer and do the exact same thing again. This is a very useful tip, holding Control to make the selection for the overlay. I'm going to change the color to white, and then I'm going to make another light above what we just made, just so it stands out. And I'm gonna change the opacity to around 80%. Uh, I don't know if I should leave it like that. I don't know, we'll see guys. Uh, when you're designing, you wanna make sure that you're experimenting with what you're doing as well. If you don't like how something looks, even if someone tells you to make it look like that, don't be afraid to tr try and change it up to your liking to see if it looks any better but I think I'm gonna leave it like that, that looks pretty cool. So after we do that, we're going to create another layer above our two layers that we have right now and go to the text tool at the bottom left. And you can choose a font that you want, but I'm going to use for the purposes of this video, United Sans Reg. I'm gonna click on the screen and put Delvage Designs. You can't see it right now because it's too big, but you will in a second. I'm gonna press Control and T, zooming out, holding Alt and using my scroll wheel. I'm gonna hold Shift and Alt and drag from the corners here to make it smaller. I'm actually going to add the at symbol here at the start. And I actually might change the font just to better suit what we need. So I'm actually gonna go change the font to Nexa Bold. There we go. I'm gonna press Control and J on our keyboard to duplicate that layer. I'm gonna go to the Move tool, drag it above the layer that we just made, go to the Text tool, and we can edit it if we just um, hover over it like so. And I'm gonna change the font to Nexa Light. And then I'm going to change the text to Follow my Twitter and you can use this for whatever social media that you want the overlay to be for or you can actually make the overlay longer and add more social media but for the purposes of this video I am just going to leave it like this now I'm actually going to change the color of Twitter to a blue so all we have to do is select the type tool and go to the box at the very top and change the color to a blue so I don't know, this blue looks pretty cool. Follow my Twitter at Delvage Designs. Now I'm going to go on Google and go to find the Twitter logo. So here we go, we found the Twitter logo on Google. I'm just going to right click and copy image, go back to Photoshop, Control and V to paste it. I'm gonna zoom out. Using the magic wand tool at the top left, I'm just going to get rid of all the black in the background. Control and T to transform, holding shift and alt drag from the corners, adding the Twitter logo into our overlay. And I'm going to double click and add a few effects. Okay guys, so we have the Twitter logo and I'm actually going to right click and copy the settings that we just put for our Twitter logo and paste it on the Delvage Designs. 
and I'm actually going to get rid of the gradient overlay and change it to a shiny overlay that will be available in my 10k graphics pack so stay tuned for that on my channel if you're interested in getting these gradients for yourself. I'm going to change the opacity to about 30% and I'm going to hold shift and merge these two text layers, rasterizing the layer styles first and then going to merge layers and I'm actually going to add a little bit of a drop shadow by creating another layer underneath going to the black color with my brush and very very gently creating a black drop shadow underneath the follow my twitter and turning the opacity down by just a bit just enough so it's in a subtle effect maybe like 46 percent there we go and that is basically how you create an overlay in photoshop now i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a like rating and leave a comment in below what else you want to see from me as far as tutorials and youtube tips even some gameplay videos who knows what i might post in the future guys i'm talking really fast right now but again i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like rating and until next time guys my name is delvidge and i'm out peace okay, okay i don't know what that outro was I'm sorry. Okay, mine, I'll do it properly. My name's Delvidge, and I'm out. Peace.